How to set up abandoned cart emails on your MailChimp. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll show you step by step how we can actually create the automation uh, for abandoned carts. Meaning, if somebody actually just you know adds some stuff in their carts and then basically they don't end up purchasing the items that they have added. Uh, meaning they have left the websites, they forgot about it, somebody talked to them, so they kind of ignored it and forgot about it. You can just send out reminders automatically to them and it's actually made very easy with mailchimp and we'll show you exactly step by step how to achieve this now you will need to connect your store to mailchimp this is the first step uh, so they know exactly what they're trying to you know, which cart they want to actually apply this automation to so make sure you connect your store to mailchimp meaning if you have shopify feel free to integrate between them and then you can just move on with this video so once you have connected your email, I'm uh, not email, sorry, your shop with MailChimp, we can just move on to the next step, which is you want to go to the automations tab here in the MailChimp uh, main dashboard. You want to just go ahead and click on that. And then from here, we can just basically click on uh, build, build from scratch on the top right. Uh, you can also build from a pre-existing journey, but this is just going to teach us uh, in a better way so you can understand better what we are trying to achieve with this automation or journey so give it a name this is just going to be a name for you to recognize it easily so it's not really going to show up for anybody else it's just for you to be able to recognize this uh, automation so just go ahead and give it a name i'm just going to name it uh, abandon um, cards and just click on start building once you do this uh, and here you can just go ahead and uh, choose a starting point. So this is going to be the point or the trigger for the automation to work. So click on choose a starting point. And here is going to be a lot of starting points that we have. So the one that we want is going to be from the popular and we will find uh, abandoned cards. So, you know, we can actually just select this one. If you don't find it from the popular, you can just go ahead and search for it. In here i believe is going to be in the shopping activity where you will find uh the, the, the abandoned cart with specific products but we want this one abandoned cart basically so just go ahead and select this one and then uh, we want to select the store that we want to uh for this to work in i did connect multiple different test stores to this so this is why i have uh, all of these uh, ones and they're all named the same anyways i'm just going to select any random one for the time being and then we also have uh, customer cart contains any product. You want to keep it as any product because this is going to work best. Meaning if any product is left in the cart and they forget about it, then it's just going to basically work. Uh, and then you want to basically add the wait for. Uh, I'm just going to do one day. So this way, after one day, if they forget about it, it's just going to remind them to do so you can actually do it for hours you can do it days it really depends on how you want it to how you actually want to approach this and click on save starting points once you are done with this next you will need to just go ahead and add a journey point and you want to add what happens next let me just go ahead and remove the okay let's just do this again uh let's just click on this one that was quite annoying here i couldn't even see uh anyways so you just go ahead and click on add a journey point and you want to basically add the uh, next step, which is going to be send an email. So click on send email. And then here you would want to basically customize this email to your liking. So first it will be the subject. Um, you know, you can feel free to add any subject that you think is fit for your style or brand uh, to remind them that they have left a cart uh, and they did not, you know, complete the purchase. You want to save this. Let's just go ahead and cancel here. And also you want to schedule it uh, and all of those things and you know you're pretty much set here so you can just go in and add the preview text save here again and you can just go in and schedule it so that it is as soon as possible and it works on any day of the week or maybe if you want to check off saturday friday there you go and click on save and you're pretty much set you want to also obviously design your email from here you can just go in and select a template uh, and work on your email and how you actually want it to look like so once this is done you can just click on save and return to journey on the top right 
and we pretty much are just going to uh, apply these uh, you know we want to click on the top right here we'll be able to just you know publish this automation and we are pretty much done so this is how to send out uh, automated abandoned cart uh, emails from MailChimp hopefully you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching